What's up and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the garbage disposal and the basket strainer for the garbage disposal. The only reason I'm replacing my disposal is because this is a one horsepower disposal and mine's a quarter horse and I want more power. Alright, so first thing you do is either you've got a plug-in pigtail or you've got a hardwired pigtail and mine's obviously hardwired. So as long as that switch is off, you're good to go. Um, just make sure your kids don't come in and mess with it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is come in here and unwire it. Let's take the wire nuts off. Black and white, they're all very common. Like so. You're going to want to disconnect your drain here. So, you unscrew this guy here. And this one, we're going to redo this too. I don't like how this one's set up. So. get it off like that and then we'll take our disposal off and I'll show you the rest there so to get your disposal off you've got this little nut here that big nut that ties to the strainer you can sometimes just put your screwdriver in there and turn it like that and loosens it up and then just boop there you go disposals off now to take this strainer off you're gonna need a drill with the flat tip bit in it it's got three screws here. Just gotta loosen them up. Okay, once you got those loose, this guy will slide up a little bit, and you've got another ring in here that holds this to the drain in here. So just get your screwdriver like so, pop it off, and there you go. And then this will come off. Get this guy and this guy off here, and then boom. Okay, so then you want to get the old putty off, the plumber's putty. And get it off this, your sink down here, so it's nice and clean. Get you some new putty. I use the Odie Plumber's Buddy. Get your hand on it. Just make it into a snake. Like so. Run it around and push it down a little bit so it doesn't fall off when you go to install it. Break the excess off there. Push it down because it's gonna smush all the way down when you tighten it up from the bottom anyway. So go ahead and smush it a little bit, make it a little easier. And I like to line it up where it says "Insync Aerator and Food Waste Disposer" in here, so you can read it. I, I hate it when people do it like that, and it's all funky. So there, and you come up here and you just push down, and let some of that putty push out, like so. And you'll have in some sinks, you'll have a bead of putty around here but this thing this sink is extra thick so it won't happen but if you have the extra putty just pull it off then you put your paper gasket rubber gasket which I don't have but it's okay um, that'll go like so and you'll get this one here up like so and now you put this on this where it gets tricky you're gonna have to hold your hand over the top hold the strainer up here and then down here you're gonna have to put this on like so and clip it on while everything is in place so I'll show you. Check it out. So here, you want that ring. So you got to start it on one side, like so. And then you just rest your hand. There you go. Stay in place. Okay. And once you got that back on, get your your ring gasket. Then you line these back up with the triangle. Then you'll tighten these up. Now, when you do this. You do a little, little at a time. You'll snug them up and then you'll tighten them up. Snug them all up. See there? And once they're all snug, then you get them nice and tight. Okay. 
Okay. Come back up to the top. And you see all your excess putty, just pull it off and ball it up. And I like to run it around just to get the rest off. And then I like to use either a knife or scissors or something to get the extra, see a little extra party spooging out. Try to be careful though, you don't scratch your sink. There you go. There's that. Now we're putting in our disposal. Now, I'm gonna show you this real quick. So if your disposal ever jams and it just goes making a humming noise but it's not actually rotating, right here, Allen wrench screw, quarter inch, you put it in there and you turn it and it'll break it loose. Now, if for some reason your disposal is not making any noise, it's just not working, this is a reset button. You need to check this button and make sure that it's in so it's operational. If it's out, that means it got jammed and it just tripped the breaker, just like on your electrical panel. Just So reset it just by pushing it. When it goes in, you should be good. Okay. Another thing. I'm not doing it, but some people will do. Whenever you replace the disposal, and you have your dishwasher drain tying into it, which goes here. There's a knockout plug inside of here. I don't know if you can see it, but inside of there, you get it, so you get a screwdriver, stick it in here like so, and then you'll boom and, and, and knock that out, and then you'll take that plug out of here and throw it away. Now, I did not do it, mind you, because I don't need this. My drain for my dishwasher's on the other side, so just make sure you knock this out before you hook your hose to it. Okay, then this here, Hold your disposal up like so, and see how right here you just tighten it by hand like that, and you get your channel locks and just tighten it up all the way till it clicks. Okay, over here now we're going to need this tailpiece. Okay, again, make sure that the taper the gasket is going into the fitting. I put this in here first. Like so, and then you get your hose clamp or whatever kind of clamp you have for it. it goes like this. So, tighten your clamp. Okay, slide this guy on here. Tighten this up. Like so now everything has been hand tightened so far. Okay, still flowing with the fall. We're good there. Now you get your channel locks and snug all your nuts up. Just not too tight. You can break them. And reach secure these. Okay. Alright, now wire this thing in. Alright, now that we've got it wired up, let's uh, flip the switch and see if it works. Alright, now that it works, we got one final thing to do is put the strainer in and we're good to go. I'll run it again with that cover on there, see how much quieter it gets. And there you have it. Please like and subscribe to see what we do next.